So what does it mean to be present? Being present means fully engaging with the here and now, without distractions from the past or worries about the future. It's about immersing yourself in the current experience, whether you're eating a meal, having a conversation, or simply breathing. Living in the moment has incredible benefits. Not only does it reduce stress, but it also increases happiness and improves mental clarity. But more importantly, it opens the door to discovering your true purpose. Because when you're fully present, you become more in tune with your passions, strengths, and desires. Hi everyone, welcome back. As I was saying, finding purpose is more about mastering being in the present than it is anything else. Many of us spend countless hours and times and days chasing this grand idea instead of focusing on the present moment. And so in this video, I want to show you how to be fully present in 10 minutes or less to help you discover your why. So let's dive in. Now, some practical steps that I practice on a daily basis, and I want you to do the same when it comes to discovering your why, is to focus on conscious breathing. And that simply means to take a moment, even right now, and close your eyes and take deep breaths. Now, you want to hold it for a few seconds and then slowly exhale. Now, once you do this, notice how you feel. It's, it's, a, it's a relief. It's like you're releasing all of your worries of the past and of the future because you're practicing being in the now, in the present moment. And then you want to repeat this step a few times whenever you feel like you need to center yourself. Next, practice mindful listening. So the next time you're having a conversation, don't think about what you're going to say next. Instead, listen to the speaker. Focus entirely on what he or she is saying in their words. That's how we practice mindful listening. And then lastly, practice grounding exercises. And this simply means to use your senses to anchor yourself to the present moment. Look around you and identify five things you can see four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Now, these simple exercises help you stay grounded and fully engaged in your current experiences. They help you stay grounded in your present moment. And this, with practice, will help you understand your why. Now, you might wonder, how does being present help me find my why? Well, when you're truly present, when you're truly engaged in the present moment, you start to notice the activities that bring you joy and fulfillment and a sense of purpose, right? So for example, you may feel most alive when you find yourself helping others or when you're creating something. And so therefore, that may mean that you're meant to be a creator or that you're meant to do something that involves helping other people. These moments of joy are clues to your deeper purpose. They open the gate to your why. And by consistently practicing presence, by consistently practicing being in the present moment, you create space for these insights to emerge naturally. So you're not forcing your why moments. You're not forcing your purpose. You're being in the present moment and just you being in the present moment, you're creating space for your why to naturally emerge. I remember, and this is quite personal, but I want to share it with you. I remember a time in my life when I was feeling lost and unsure about my direction. You know, what do I do in life? And What's my purpose and where am I supposed to be and what's my why? I think we all have those questions deep within us somewhere. 
And instead of stressing over finding my purpose, like I had done so many times before, I decided to focus on being in the present moment. Each day I decided to honor my present moment. I wasn't worrying about what happened yesterday or what my future would hold for me. I was focusing on being in the present moment on this present day and slowly but surely <laughs> over time, my passions and strengths became clearer, leading me to my why. And I figured out that I'm a writer. I'm a great writer, at least that's what I think. I love to write. I love to teach. I love to help people that are hurting heal. I love to take broken pieces and put them back together again. That's my why. I'm here with the purpose to heal the hurting. Some people call us earth angels. I'm not really sure. I have not labeled myself, but I understood my why when I began focusing on being in the present moment. And you will find your why too when you focus on being in the present moment. And something else that I want you to remember is very important when it comes to truly deciphering your why in this life. In order to do that, honestly, you have to believe that you have a why. You have to believe that you have a purpose, that you were created on purpose, with purpose, for a specific purpose. If you believe that, you will find your why, I promise. So I also want you to remember that finding your why is not about searching for some distant goal. It's not about hunting down this long lost purpose. It's not what finding your why is about. It's about embracing the present moment and letting your purpose naturally unfold. So start with the simple steps we discussed earlier and see where they lead you. If you practice them on a daily basis, if you practice conscious breathing, mindful listening and grounding exercises daily, you will learn to focus on the present moment and naturally being in the present moment will help you uncover your passions and that's going to lead to you uncovering your why. Why are you here? What's your purpose? What is it that you're meant to do in this life? So I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Leave a comment below and let me know how being in the present moment has helped you. And also let me know how the lack of being in the present moment has hindered you. Remember to also like this video and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, smash the notification bell so you'll get a reminder every, every time I post a new video or go live or anything, all of the good updates. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.